Like if everybody ate one meal that was locally grown each week, it would save, I don't know, 200 million barrels of oil in the country. So maybe in Key West it's not likely that you can grow enough to have a whole meal, but you can grow enough greens and additional vegetables to, to supplement every single meal in the week. And that would mean the same thing. And even a small piece of land can do that. And that's what we do in the garden. That's what Jody's involved in. You know, we in, try and encourage people to just see where the sun falls and make mm -hmm, that a good place mm -hmm, to grow mm -hmm. something. I think this is one of the best things about our garden, <laughs> is our use of recycled, refurbished hot water heaters from closed down school and some PVC pipe to collect rainwater off of the roof. This is the small one. We have a bigger one over there that holds about twice as much water. I don't know if anyone told you about it, but um, we we dug this well because there's a um, freshwater lens. It just trapped rainwater in the coral below. Um, we don't have any natural groundwater. It's uh -huh. just that it gets trapped because of the coral below us. Um, and there's only an area in I don't know. It's a fairly small area, but kind of the, the old downtown where you have these wells. Are there a lot of uh, people who born here, like Less you? Uh, well, I'm sure there's a few thousand, but out of a population of 30,000, that's not so many. Okay. And I, I talk to those people on a general basis because I'd like to get their information, yeah, like yeah. if they're older people. Um, I'd like to know what they grew back in the day because just two generations ago, every people had their own gardens. Mm -hmm. You couldn't count on vegetables from somewhere else. The only vegetables that came in here were in cans. Mm -hmm. And but there was a time when Key West sustained itself. We had truck farms, people that grew vegetables. Stock Island, which is just a few miles away, they had dairies and cows up there, and everybody had their own chickens. You fished. So there was a sustainable community here. I mean, there's still a sense of community, but it's second or third generation from when they grew their own stuff. So they're used to going to Burger King or, you know, going to the grocery store. So they're not so in touch with, what did my grandmother grow? It's like too many people that just don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. What is that, denial, maybe it's denial. Because it's scary, it's scary to think that our whole way of life is going to be over in less than a generation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So people don't even want to consider it. Mm -hmm. the, um, how do you turn in this drive to improve the situation, to live by a different paradigm, into a way to sustain yourself now and your yeah. family? Because that's the transition, isn't it?